So we're going to be given here a plane or a lamina and we want to find the traces to that plane. Now I'm just going to look at my SolidWorks file here for a moment now. So what I have here is I have a surface ABC. As we can see on the surface I've put in the vertical plane and the horizontal plane for reference. Now this plane must lie on an oblique plane. As we know an oblique plane is at any angle. The vertical plane is obviously a vertical plane. The horizontal is horizontal. The oblique plane is at any other angle. Now if I just drag down these two here we'll see that the oblique plane I put it in here blue. My ABC yellow plane lies on my oblique plane. Now I've drawn in my oblique plane. As you can hopefully imagine, the oblique plane can go on for an infinite amount of a space. However, I've just drawn it in just so it cuts the vertical plane and it cuts the horizontal plane. This curve here just represents that it can go on further. Now, as you can see, the oblique plane which touches sorry, which contains my plane ABC, cuts the vertical plane and it cuts the horizontal plane. The point where it cuts the XY line is going to be common to the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. So what I need to do here now is I need to find the VTH or the traces in my plane. So as you can see, we have plane ABC, ABC. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a view. Um, just for handiness, I'm just going to start with the elevation. You could start with the plan. So from my elevation, I'm going to pick a line, and the line I'm picking is the line AC. I've extended on the line AC until it hits the XY line. Where it hits the XY line, I'm going to draw a vertical line. Now in my plan, I'm going to extend the line AC. And that gives me this point here. Now I know for a fact that this point here is definitely a point on my horizontal trace. I need to do the exact same thing again. So this time I'm going to extend BC. I'm just going to use a different color just to show the two different constructions. Where it hits my XY line, I'm going to bring it down again. And in my plan now, I'm going to extend BC. And they are touching at this, these two points here. Now, these two points, as we can see, when we join them, they're going to give us now a horizontal trace. Or a H horizontal H. Now, the point T for the trace has to hit my XY line. This is not going to hit my XY line until it goes off my page. So I don't have my common point, but that gives me my horizontal trace. If I did have my car, her, uh, sorry, if I did have it where it was cut on my XY line, I could say that my point T, I would have it. However, I don't. I need to do the exact opposite now in order to find my vertical trace. So I'm going to use two different colors again. So I'm going to extend BA. And where BA hit the XY line, I'm going to bring them up. BA is here. And that's given me a point on my vertical trace. Now I'm going to do another one. So I'm going to do BC. BC is going up. And where BC come vertically up, extend BC here. And that's given me another point. And that's given me my vertical trace. As you can hopefully visualize, if I was to extend on the XY line, the horizontal trace and the vertical trace, they will all meet at one common point. And that's how we get the traces of a plane.